what are we doing? H3 Weapon Deep Dive, right? That's the name of this show? All right, everything's going. Sounds on, sounds on, it is recording. Welcome back to H3 Weapon Deep Dive. Today we have a tasty treat. We have the P226 Mark 25. The P226, or the, it's, it's, it's a SIG, uh, is chambered in 9x19. It comes with two magazines, this magazine and an Extendo magazine. Let's take a look at the magazines. We've got a regular one. No, well, barely any witness holes. Let's take a look at that more closely. That's not the right one. That's the right one. There's the witness holes. Little bitty witness holes. And that's 15 rounds. And we've got the Extendo magazine also with some witness holes. And that is a big old a 20 rounds. Let's take a look at the controls. So you've got a number of... Uh, it's some weird things on this gun that you wouldn't expect and I don't know if they're bugs or not to be honest So you can dry fire it. You can lock the slide open by pressing to the left and up on the trackpad Left and up left and down to release of course. It's got a hammer cocker and decocker You can decock the hammer in a different way than other pistols and I don't know why and I double checked I picked up my CZ 20 uh, CZ 75 and it that still works the way I would expect it but this one's a little different so you can decock it by pressing to the right and up on the trackpad and you don't need to press the trigger pressing right and down cocks it right and up decocks it and that does not happen for the CZ 75 right and up does not decock it unless you pull the trigger like all the other pistols whoops so I don't know why I actually like this better <laughs> it's easier and there's less chance of me putting an extra hole in the wall uh, but uh, it's different I don't know I don't know I don't know all right the other weird thing is there's no safety it's got a hammer it's got controls for safety but if you press up on the trackpad nothing happens and you can still fire all day long so I don't know if these are bugs or what's going on but uh, there you have it there's the ejection port giant on the top and on the right side and you're good to go oh naturally it features a uh, magazine release press down on the trackpad and out she goes you got the blorp and now this is the slurp Attachment time! What will fit on this guy? Well, we got some compensators, sure. How about some silencers? Or even a suppressor. <laughs> That'll go. Hey, look at that. How about lasers? Well, there's no rails on the top, but there is an underbarrel rail. Boom! So you've got lasers for dazers. And, of course, stocks. Ta-da! Take a look at some sights. Ooh, whoops. Let me take that. Let me take that laser off first. Those are nice sights. Bright green dots. Easy to see front post. Big cutout on the rear. Yeah, pretty good. I like these. I like green dots. Let's do the recoil test. 15 rounds of 9x19. See how we go. Do, 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 do. Ooh, hmm. Pretty high there. Yeah, seven and a half, pretty high group, uh, consistent though, and I think if, you, uh, if, if you're if you able to pause just a tiny bit, I bet they all return to zero really fast, but I'm pressing as fast as I can, that's the deal, and that's the, uh, that's the test. Let's see what we can do, let's try the compensator, shall we? Oh, all over the place. Eight and a half, though. That's a good number. Actually, yeah, that's pretty good, but it was going high and low, so not as consistent. Hmm, <laughs> that thing's huge. Let's try suppressors. Ah, suppressor. Here we go. Ooh, that felt pretty good. 8.6. Yeah, 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 yeah. Again, high and low. Went both left and right. But pretty good group. Ox. Stocks always do well. Let's see how it does with the 226. Ooh, kind of all over. 7.7. .7. Ooh, not that great. Oh, 
That's why one went stray. Hmm. You know, not a bad group, but not what it, as good as I was expecting. Best of both worlds, we're going to go with the stock and the suppressor. Come on, perfect tent. Not perfect tin, but 8.6. I think that's the suppressor doing most of the work there. Interesting result. Not too much vertical deviation on that, but definitely left and right. So, that's all right. Let's get some energy, man. Let's get some energy. Woo! Get some energy. Get some energy. There you have it. The SIG P226 in 9x19 with big old 20-round magazine on it. Till next time, I will see ya. Story of my life.